Hi everyone, it's Maria with Angelfish Design, and I have another Valentine's video for you today. A project share of three flip books, Valentine flip books, that I have made. So all three of these flip books started out with Valentine cards that I had made that were extras uh, from last year and the last couple of years, and I just converted them into these various flip books. So, start with the ladybug one. So the front here is what had been the card, the Valentine card, and I just added these little ladybug charms onto that, but this part was what I had already had. I also used a lot of envelopes in these. So here, this was a small envelope, and then I used some tags, put some little dots onto them. This one is, of course, for my sister, and she loves ladybugs. So I have lots of ladybugs in my stash just for her. Have some little stickers drew there. And then you flip that over. Have a little banner there. And this comes out and it's a little booklet. Hers won't really be full of goodies like everybody else's because it's kind of a substitute for her Valentine's card. So I have this is a little card, a playing card. And then this was like a little note card and I added the heart punches in that little tuck spot there. Then I did slice open the edge of the um, the envelope, but then I decided that I would just put this big ladybug in from this side. Although, if you need to, it could come out that end too. And this had been the front of some invitations that I had seen and I thought they were really cute. I colored the back of the ladybug's head so that when you see it from that side, you still see black antenna and not um, the white background. And then I have some banners there. So that was the first one. And the next one is a Snoopy one. This was the front of uh, one of those boxes of chocolates. And I got some banners and little stickers and things there. Then this one is a trifold. I have a little shaker box there with a Snoopy image and then some space for writing something. I kind of did this one with the idea that the person receiving it would maybe use it as a little mini album. So this would be kind of journaling space for them. And then more journaling space here. And as you can see, these two sections are the envelopes that I used and then this was the card that I had. So that part flips open. And on this envelope side, have a couple of tags. Haven't put anything else in here yet, but there's a little paper clip. And then you turn it over and it has a little stamp on it. And then another space for journaling. And then in this side on this envelope, just a card. Or maybe a photo or whatever the recipient wants to put there. And then up in the top part of what had been the greeting card, I have two little envelopes here. This one I used a template that I have, uh, had it for a while from Judykins, and then this one was made from a heart-shaped doily, and I have a process video for that that I will link down below. And I'll probably put some little stickers or um, a little note or something. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna, what kind of goodies I'm gonna fill these up with. But since I started with this card and it had Snoopy on it, that's why I decided this one was going to be a Snoopy-themed one. And then on the back, I have another little heart and that is actually a pocket as well so I'll be able to put something in there too and the final one 
doesn't really have any goodies in it yet, but it is really chunky already. So I don't mind that. I'll just put it in a bigger envelope and no problem there. So for this particular one, the original card was this um, heart that could be hung up. So I made a little banner this little banner here and this actually comes out so that the recipient can use that and hang it up and enjoy it but so that once they do remove it there's not blank space I have another image underneath it to take its place kind of a little hidden image for the tie that I have around there I crocheted this using some Baker's twine and had a little little girl's inexpensive valentine necklace probably from the dollar store or something i took it apart and put some of the beads on the end of that and if you crochet and are interested i used a size six steel needle and this was 150 chain stitches to make that since it was so chunky it really needed something to hold it together and again, I used envelopes. This is the first envelope. And inside there, I have another envelope. Another little owl. This one, of course, is owl themed because my friend likes owls a lot. Some more little owls in there. And this was just an envelope that was folded in half. And then some owl note paper in there. I may write a letter to her on one of those or leave them in there for her to use. And then this is another little tuck spot on the back. So that goes into that first envelope there. Then this little tag I made from the packaging from the washi tape. So it just has a couple of little goodies in there that I just stuck in there because I had them extras and a little owl and a banner some washi tape banners which i think i'm going to add a little bit of glue to the edges because they like to pop up there and then on this side these are some post-it notes that match the note paper that was in that envelope some more extra little tags and another little owl then this flips open this way this was the inside of this envelope and I really liked that design and I wanted it to show. So I adhered that to the side there and then put a little label in an owl and then have lots of these little um, pieces that were from some scrapbook paper. The entire sheet of paper was all these little tags or tickets, I mean. And then some more little owls here and then an owl paper clip in the little tuck spot here and some more tags a little simple one and then another one with that owl from the from the note paper and then just some extra little banners there so then that closes up and on the back i have another little pocket there with all these little big owls inside there Hopefully she will enjoy all of those owls. All right, and that's what I have to share with you today. And I hope you have been having a wonderful Valentine's Day and a wonderful Sunday. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.